Tech companies are showcasing new innovations at CES 2023. Some of them could even change the way we live, travel, and work. Not to our surprise, artificial intelligence turns out to be a big trend at the world's biggest technology show. Michigan-based Bird Buddy has created a smart AI-powered bird feeder. It captured photos of feathered friends as they fly in to eat some treats and notifies the owner. The company says the device is equipped with artificial intelligence, allowing it to recognize over 1,000 bird species. The product has already sparked some interest from consumers who want to show the world what birds are coming to their backyards. The price for the basic feeder is $199. Japan-based Luvich has created a device designed to solve the challenges of those who have difficulty navigating while they walk. The device is worn around the neck. The connected device uses sound and vibration to guide the wearer along the way. Even though a trash bin could be equipped with smart technologies, well, this one is different, and it's happening in a different way. A Netherlands-based company has created a smart AI-powered bin that helps restaurants limit their food waste. Before chefs throw food waste in the bin, the smart device takes a quick picture and then uses an algorithm to recognize ingredients and register food waste. A Japanese firm has created a smart iPhone app to help golfers improve their putting swings. The app uses analysis technology to measure flying distance, ball speed, launch angle, and club speed in real time. Mobility tech is also going big at this year's CES with new electric vehicles and self-driving technology. French startup Rollkers is taking a more personal approach with these electric roller skates, which can increase your walking speed. Now, the new technologies appear to be promising. CES 2023 opens to the public in Las Vegas on January 5th. Around 100,000 visitors are expected to attend this year's Las Vegas gathering, but that's a 41% dip in attendance compared to the in-person show held in early 2020, before the pandemic consumed much of everyday life. 